Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Hmm. Get out, man. But why ever would he want that? Eh... Uh, <laughs> we are, um, grateful that we wanted to demonstrate that. So, we got this wee gift for you. Portrait of the Hierarch. Nice. Ah, oh, it's nothing, really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it, all right? All right. Farewell. Mm. What the heck am I gonna do with a painting? <laughs> okay. Is there a quest where I can talk to um them? Yeah, all right. Anything else? Nope. All right, so we'll do that side quest. So I have no idea. I don't remember where the rosemary thyme is. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right, and don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The hmm. thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. 
Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Okay, I'm actually going to do that quest real quick. Dangerous game of Gwent. I hope these quests ain't long. That's a goose. That's, that's a goose here. Just chilling, it looks like. Ow! Not. But looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Um, I'll give ah. you a discount for heroic deeds. All the way in, he says. Well, you know. He makes it sound so easy. Don't you, Geralt? How the fuck do we get in there? Are you a wizard? Yes, I am. I, oh, right here. Girl, I hate to say this, but I think Siri is way better than Neil. Must be Zed. Hmm, well Zed's dead. That's good to know. Well, it's probably those guys. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the ism, Grimcock. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Roll. Have no health, so. Tiana from the Scoyatel deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. They were looking for something. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. Where or oh where would your ledger be? 
I wonder. Would you hide it up there? Hmm, I don't see it. For something, they were looking for something. Hmm. Wrong thing. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Well, I could look at it. What's on it? He's a witch hunter and chases old crones. Oh, oh a headache again. Trouble? Zoltan? Get out! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. <laughs> Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Besides, I'm certain he snuffed his killers out on the spot. So why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Eh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilzin? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. So you know what I just realized? Which is really bad. My TV volume's on. <laughs> but those of you who are watching and got very annoyed at that, what village I apologize. <laughs> the volume's now gone. So there's no echo, hopefully. Because I'm not sure if this uh, mic is delayed or not. So might hear an echo of the game. Not sure now. I'm not looking look at uh, the recording. That's going to be fun.
the hem. Past the barn on yonder fence, the crowing cockerel sits. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said Caesar'd never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vico Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Hmm. Shivi! Caesar Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Well, him! Oh, well, that's, that's Geralt! Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah, cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. In the Ponta? You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! <laughs> so what the zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Geralt? Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Like shit. All right. Grab your rods. We're off to the pawns, sir. Can't let this drivel stand. Not in me own home. <laughs> Wilson, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. Uh, not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morhen? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Belton had many jests lately, though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Huh. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right, can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we going to go noodling for catfish? Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawers open. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Set of Alanahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Ah, here's Fringilla, dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Hmm. <gasps> oh, the painting. Portrait of Emperor Amir, tempera on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. I'm just robbing you, don't worry. If they tell me to go on horns, because it's some ripper being after them, I'll quit. Seems to me... Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him. And you two, get lost. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, hop to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Ow. Ow. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. <laughs> right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Ah, oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Triss. Is no longer around. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. 
Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. All right. Well, I couldn't take the rope. It wouldn't let me. I looked at everything. I grabbed everything. But it wouldn't take me. Uh, let me take the rope. So I don't know if you could take the rope. I don't know if it's glitched. I just don't know. about that it's the flea ridden mutant join us please ravi loves company look how happy he is to see us you happy ravi sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back oh you're just saying that because you don't know the situation our mutual friend Ravi here was just about to play for his life, and uh... Oh, you got the card! What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? <laughs> See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play. Well, let's see if I can do it. I'm probably going loose. Well, I got too many fog cars. Cars? Cards. There we go. I'll start off the round, it seems. I play fog. He put a spy in my midst. I'm not playing a spy now. Hmm. It seems he doesn't want me to win. Let's see what we get here. Crap. Well, I got 10 still. I'll put... No, I'll put... I'll put you. 